Coming up next, a UFC welterweight division matchup. Well, a special feel in this arena tonight for more reasons than one, but of course, the centerpiece is the former two-division UFC champion, the future Hall of Famer, Conor McGregor, returning to the proven ground here tonight. He fought three times in 2016, just once in 2018. Everybody's excited to see what version of Conor McGregor shows up here tonight. There are more Irish flags in the building <laughs> than you'll find anywhere in the United States of America. <laughs> and it's all for the notorious one. Conor McGregor has taken his country, put it on his back, and rode it to superstardom. He is a fantastic fighter, has really good takedown defense, which allows him to keep the fights on the feet where guys are always in danger. You're constantly in danger whenever you're fighting Conor McGregor because the moment you attack, that counter left hand is like a piston and he can shut your lights out with one strike. Yeah, that McGregor counter left hand, truly one of the best weapons in mixed martial arts today. A master when it comes to movement and distance management and also just rising to the occasion, right? When all eyeballs are on him, and you've experienced this as well, the ability on fight night to shine. All the distractions, Connor is able to shut them out, and he goes into the octagon, is focused, and always gets the job done. Well, this is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC, and if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things. From as close as you can get, he's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive these into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing, the high level yeah. from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. Three years apart, and they both possess a similar height and reach. All right, now to get us started, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 22 wins, six losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, the notorious Connor McGregor. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 21 wins, seven losses, and one draw. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Brasilia, the street boat, and around Brazil, Vicente, the silent assassin, Luke You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. So here we go as round one gets underway. Two world-class level strikers here, and the expectation is we're gonna get a kickboxing match here in the octagon. Yes, we are going to get a striking match. One guy is very good at kicks. The other guy has unbelievable hands. Let's see what type of attack is going to win the battle of two great stand-up fighters. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. 
Oh, an educated jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. Oh, he hurt a the jab. Good series of punches by him there. He has certainly had no trouble finding the range tonight. He is finding the target with everything he throws. He's mixing it up beautifully. And he landed the right hand there. It's okay, you're fine. Let's make it Oh, that's a nice strike. And both guys really throwing with a four. Just out of range with that right hook. the takedown, no problem. Right hand punch in the clinch. Oh! Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. He's looking for that left hand, not there. Big fall from punch lands. Now he gets back in range. He blocks the punch. Oh, Superman punch. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint, DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Beautiful land there by McGregor. Made it look easy on that extreme. He is such a diverse striker, but he's very tricky in the approach when he's trying to land that left hand. McGregor gets caught by the straight punch. On oh! He's a He's hurt bad. Oh, big left hook there! All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue. To rain down, the opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hips, push him away, and try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Nice straight punch. Oh, huge head kick. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Yep. <laughs> yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Now they're both. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. We'll finish this fight. Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's going to give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, 
Oh, he's hurt bad. Oh! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go we'll get him. He's in trouble. He's getting lit up. Gets up again here, but hurting. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Back to the feet. Oh, he might be out. Nice one, two there. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got him to put him hurt very bad. Oh, so an interesting decision there is he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. Oh! Well, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has come to stop to this contest at four minutes, 45 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout, the notorious Conor McGregor! Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that.